Yeah, what's Listen To? I've never heard of that. <laughs> I use Listen To a lot. Sometimes I'm working on a project where the producers in South Nashville and, you know, one of the secrets of Nashville is that everything's basically 15 minutes away, and if you have to drive more than 15 minutes, nobody drives. So I don't see him, we just stream. He likes listening in his studio that he's used to, right? So I'll be mixing here, we'll be doing real-time tweaks over listen to. But then we also have clients in Japan, and they need to speak into the process. So getting everybody on a stream so that they can be listening, they can be communicating with him, he can be communicating with me, we go back and forth, and I have spent hours using listen to to tweak mixes. The other thing that it's super easy and great for is it used to be a pain in the ass to listen to stuff through like a laptop speaker or an iPhone speaker. Every once in a while, artists still want to listen to stuff in their car. It wasn't too long ago that a, that a producer was just like, hey, can you burn me a CD? So I was like, yeah, I'll burn you a CD, like ran back over to the other room, the other computer, like to burn a, the, that computer doesn't actually have a CD burner in it. So I just set him up with listen to on his phone. It's like, go plug your phone into your stereo and like, I'll just stream the mix. That's hugely helpful.